Hey guys, want to come at you with a quick Star Wars The Old Republic video for Star Parse. This is a parser system. Basically all it does, it reads your combat logs and tells you what your stats are while you're playing or after you're done playing. Um, it's really useful to figure out where you need to improve your game, some things you could do better, some things maybe you need to take out completely. It's very helpful. So anyway, this is the website you get it from right here ixparse.com and when you download it Windows will pop up a little error telling you oh we can't recognize this and it's not that it's a bad thing it's just Windows can't verify it itself this is where we all get it I'm on the Bastion server myself and personally I see this quite a bit being used there um, a lot of people requiring it for guild runs or pug runs whatever this is something becoming very popular um, me and a few other people have started preferring this a lot over Parsec, which has been used for a while. But anyway, Star Parse here. Click Get Star Parse. Easy as that. Download it. Install it. When you get it, it comes up and looks just like this right here. Right? Nothing fancy. Kind of dull gray and white. Anyway, you have to enable your combat logs in the game. And I believe I've shown that in a video before. If not, it's not that hard. You go into Preferences. You see a mark for enable combat logging, check that, hit apply, and you're good to go. That's all that's required. Anyway, when you come to here, you've got different options. Right here, I've made a group for my guild. This is a group from another guild that we can sync up together and see each other's stats real time. So just to kind of show you for yourself, personal, you can open a log after you're done and see what your stats are. But more useful you can click parse and this is my preset option up here I've got three different things and you can adjust the size you can adjust how bright they are where they are on your screen but this will show you what your personal stats are for raids such as the new one the second boss on Temple of Sacrifice the command walkers there is a mechanic where you have to go and get a bomb I believe it is every 30 seconds. I'm a little bit rusty on my timing on it right now. But you can use this timer. It will tell you when the shield on the one walker is going to come up. It will give you an idea when you need to go grab the bomb ahead of time. And it speeds up the process and makes it a smoother mechanic. Same thing. You have your damage per second, heals per, sective, or heals per se second. Can't talk today. Your efficiency. All of this is right there on your screen. Also the raid damage, I leave this up because it's a nice little thing. I can just see mine. It'll show my name, my character's name, total damage, and the DPS, the damage per second. So different options you've got. You've got raid challenges. If there's a challenge, um, let's say the weekly boss for Dread Palace, there's challenges. That's where that comes in. Raid healing. This is what you would use if you're more healing or want to see what your healers are doing in your group. And raid threat more for tanks and you can kind of see which DPS is pulling more threat off the tanks. Maybe if there's a DPS you need to guard or a healer that you need to guard. So these are what these are for. But these raid options, you're only going to be able to use those if you have people in your raid group like this right here. So mine's marked for my guild Skull Squadron. It is a group I made. Doesn't cost anything. You just set up a name and a password. People can type in the info in Star Parse and join in. You click Raid. It'll load you in. And this is now the Raid group. Now, my name in the game is Demigol. And that is... I'm the only person in the Raid group currently, which is expected. I'm not even on the game right now. So, this right here, if more people are in here, you're going to see this number go up as the total number of people, and you're going to see each individual name listed. Now, this is very useful. When you get a big group of people, you can see who's doing a lot of DPS, who's not. Now, I do not use this as critical. This is where a lot of people frustrate me with a parsing system. You do not need to look in here and go, well, this person's not doing as much DPS, they just suck at the game. No, find out why they're not doing as much DPS. Maybe they are spending a lot of time running, picking up slack because somebody's not doing their job. You can kind of figure out, okay, if you need to switch targets, one person's getting a lot of DPS, obviously they're probably staying on one target where the other person's getting less because they're having to switch 
back and forth. That's happened to me. Somebody accused me of doing very, very low DPS when in reality I was picking up slack running between bosses from the other DPS not paying attention. So it happens. It's not a perfect system. Also, when it pops up your total DPS at the end of a fight, it does drop around 0.4 to 0.5 damage per second just because you do not like if you're using a training dummy it drops like that because you do not immediately leave combat when you stop attacking a training dummy now it's more accurate in a raid because when the boss dies you're automatically out of combat and you can see your stats so very useful tool very helpful to kind of figure out what you need to improve on what to do I highly recommend this program if you have any questions send me a message track me down in the game I'm on the bastion server um, that's really about it you guys take care and look for another video soon.